Cancer, welcome to your, uh, some of y'all could be finding out that you're, that you're pregnant, but where you're a woman and you can have kids. I want to say it's a boy. Um, I'm hearing your wifey now or you, 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 uh, you big daddy now or something like that. But um, Cancer, welcome to your intuitive reading for your next 48 hours. What you got for Cancer? Uh, Cancer, if you guys have been going through some kind of depression, like seasonal depression or just... You know, you've been in a rut, in a mood lately. I feel like brighter days are ahead. Brighter days are coming. Um, I see some of you guys working on like multiple projects at a time. I see you uh, having like work-life balance. Like there's a steady flow. I also see some of y'all bringing in like a steady stream of income uh, pretty soon. I'm also hearing an engagement. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> I'm hearing engagement and like wedding bells. So I don't know if that's literally like an engagement, like a wedding ring. Somebody's getting engaged. Somebody's getting married or... If that's like just like a commitment of some sort, like someone here is, you know, it's like a, it's like a celebratory uh, commitment. Like you, you sign a contract for a job or you and somebody are friends or you, you and somebody are together. You know, this feels like, um, this feels like a new beginning. What do you got for cancer? Next 48. Cancer next 48. Okay. If you've been silent with somebody and if you've been fighting somebody, your silence bothers this person. Okay. They don't like it very much. Okay. Some of y'all, this could be a Scorpio, Five of Pentacles. Uh, some of y'all could have been fighting with somebody about money, about like what they spend their money on. Five of Pentacles. Some of y'all, I'm getting Virgo energy. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. What is this for Cancer? Some of y'all, I feel like you've been having issues like, like staying on subject or focus issues, staying on the right path or staying on topic. Like if I'm getting like focus, like your mind is just kind of wandering, like your mind feels like it's... um. It's in La La Land. I feel like you're struggling to stay, uh, to stay focused on the, uh, on the point of the matter, on the goal, okay, on the task at hand, okay. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. What is this for, uh, for Cancer? Some of y'all could have been, could could be, could have been, or could be struggling with, uh, with money. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. What is this for, uh, for Cancer? Five of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like some of y'all just gonna quit. <laughs> I feel like some of y'all, the pressure gets to you. Some, you know, something gets to you. I, I feel like this this could be like out of depression, out of rage, out of anger. It literally feels like some of y'all are rage quitting a job or y'all are just going to, you know, just up and end something. Y'all just going to stop doing it. I feel like you're just going to quit. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Tower. Yeah, if I see that you're just going to stop doing something. You're going to quit. And it feels like that's a good thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like you've been saving your money or it seems like you're going to save more money or more time or more energy if you just leave. So I see that you uh, I see that you get yourself out of a situation. Some of y'all, I see you getting yourself out of a rut. Uh, the tower, what's the four? Yeah, I feel like you're gonna quit and you're not gonna tell nobody that you quit your job or you're gonna quit or you're just gonna stop saving up for something. You're just gonna start spending. I, I feel like you're just going on like a rampage. What's this four of pentacles here for cancer? What's this four of pentacles here for cancer? Uh, next 48. Four of Pentacles, the Magician. Yeah, it literally feels like some of y'all could have Libra in your chart or be dealing with a Libra because I've been getting that energy for Libra about just up and leaving and not telling nobody where they're going. For you, I just feel like you're just going to up and quit. You're not going to tell nobody nothing. Like, it seems like you was working on something. You was saving up for something or you had like a steady flow, a steady stream, and then someone just up and leaves like out of nowhere. Um, what's the Tower here for Cancer? What's the Tower here for Cancer? Next 48. The Tower, the Seven of Wands. I'm also getting you and somebody else are friends again in the next 48 hours. Like you decide to let bygones be bygones or y'all just stop fighting. But I feel like it's because, I don't know. I don't know if this is like, if this is tied in, but it feels like somebody just up and leaves something. Somebody just up and quits a job. They don't work there no more. They stop, you know, they stop messing with each other. And then all of a sudden you and somebody are together again. So I don't know if it takes somebody leaving to bring two people together, but it feels like once somebody leaves, once somebody's out of the picture, everything you know it feels like brighter days ahead it feels like somebody just had to leave first or somebody's had to quit their job or something like that the tower the seven of wands and then now all of a sudden you and somebody are friends or you and somebody aren't fighting no more this could be you and this virgo what is this what is this for cancer the tower the seven of wands to uh cancer next 48 clarify this tower yeah it feels like you and somebody are friends again out of nowhere the Tower, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. Yeah, literally like within the next two days. Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. 
Can you give me clarity on like, what, what is this about someone up and quitting a job or someone up and leaves? It feels like someone, something gets somebody upset, like maybe the, how much they're getting paid or like the lack of patronage, the lack, the lack of money. So someone here just kind of stops doing something, like they stop paying into it, they stop putting money behind it. It feels like somebody just stopped, like it feels like they were putting a lot of money, they had a lot invested or a lot of savings and you know, they just, they just quit. They're not interested no more. Clarify this for um, somebody just up and leaves. Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Somehow this could be an Aries. It feels like somebody rage quits. Like they literally get up and get angry from their desk and just, ah, and just you know, they just leave or something like that. Uh, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, man, I don't know. Some of y'all may have put money on this. Some of y'all may have bet that somebody was going to do this. Because I keep paying attention to, this, to these dollars. Like, it's like, some of y'all may have bet somebody. Like, some of y'all may have bet, like, hey, I bet you 10 bucks that she going to do this. And what does she do? She do it. I bet you 20 bucks he going to quit next week. And then he quits. I feel like you're going, I feel like you're you're a rich man now. Or you're $20 richer, okay? You're a rich, rich woman now, okay? I feel like, sorry, I feel like somebody bet on something and the story goes exactly like how they said it would. Like the story, you know, they, they, if you didn't put money on something, you should have put money on this because this is exact, like this person was correct. It's going to turn out exactly like this. Like, oh, I bet they're going to do it. And like, no, you know what? I bet $50. They're not. All right. I'll double it. And guess what? You cash in the checks. Damn. <laughs> uh, give me one more. Give me one more card on this. Give me a Kipper card on this for cancer. Give me a Kipper card on this for Cancer. Yeah, I feel like some of y'all should have bet money on something. Y'all, y'all could be a, y'all could have been a lot richer if y'all bet if y'all put some money behind it. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is this for Cancer? Next forty-eight. Uh, we got message of concern. I feel like this doesn't concern you though. Message of concern and lovers. Uh, this could be concerning a Gemini or somebody else, but I feel like this. You know, the message of concern card represents a message that you know you don't really want to get. It's a little, it's a little disarming. It's not really positive. Uh, this, it feels like it doesn't have anything to do with you, though. It feels like uh, this this is concerning someone else. Message of concern, the lovers. I'm get I'm hearing like someone is still upset about something that happened. This this feels like it happened a long time ago. Someone's still upset about something that happened with like a past relationship, a past partner. Or someone's upset about some money from like a year ago. Like someone here is still upset about it from like you know years ago. Like they're still they're still mad about it. What else you got for cancer? Next 48. What else you got for cancer? Next 48. Okay, we got the lovers. Yep, the lovers. Okay, uh, we got the lovers twice. What's the lovers card here for uh, for cancer? If somebody got you mad, they're going to make up for it. Someone here is going to find a very unique way to make up for it. For some of y'all, if, if someone else is the reason that you had to quit your job or if someone else is the reason why you had to leave, someone here is going to make up for like the loss of something. Like I feel like you lost something or you missed out on an opportunity because of another person. They're going to find a creative way to make it up to you. Okay, so I feel like someone here is going to come to the rescue a little bit. Uh, they realize that what they did put you out a little bit or they realize like the implications of what they did. So I feel like somebody here comes to go make to, to come uh, make up for it. The lover's strength. Tell me about this for cancer. The lover's strength. For cancer next 48. The lover's strength and the death card. So I feel like to make up for the fact that you missed out on one opportunity because of them, they're gonna they're gonna fill you in on another opportunity. Like there's something here that's a even greater or, or an even better opportunity. And I feel like someone here is going to tell you what it is because they understand what you lost because of them. So I feel like somebody here is looking out for you, but you know, I wouldn't thank them too much because they're the reason why that you need, you need looking out for. So it's like someone puts you in a bad situation, they feel bad and they come back and it's like, Hey, you know, I found something better and blah, blah, blah. So I don't, I don't know. It kind of feels like the scales are balanced here. I wouldn't say you forgive someone. I wouldn't say that you hate them. It just feels like it is what it is because they're the ones that put you there. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't have had to. It, feel, it feels like they get you out of a situation, but it's like I wouldn't have needed to be picked up if you didn't put me down. So I, I don't know. This feels like, you know, I don't I don't know if whether, whether I, this is this feels like you don't know whether to thank somebody or not, because it's like, thank you. Like, I'm better off, but I was also happy doing what I wanted to do. You know, I love doing this and you, you put me out in the first place. So, I, you know. It feels like you don't really know how to 
there's like someone here that kicks you out and then they offer you a house like thank you but you know i wouldn't have been had to go through a year of homelessness if you didn't kick me out in the first place so thank you but you just you just put me back where i was already like thank you for uh replacing me thank you for uh giving me new thank you thank you for placing me in the same exact situation i was in before before i met you so thank you it feels like i'm getting like bitterness here what is this for cancer what is this clarify this for cancer the lover strength the death card yeah for some of y'all someone in a situation knows the situation is over i feel like they just want to do one thing first we got the the main male card some y'all this could be a scorpio clarify this yeah unexpected income yeah i feel like you don't see something coming it's, it feels like it's something lavish someone here's gonna keep their word to you this could be like regarding a male in your life or a uh the main male card represents a male that's important here or um a man an important male in a woman's life although this could be a woman as well um it's just kipper is more kipper is more strict tarot i, I read energies but kipper if a man comes out, a man comes out. So I don't know. Uh, main male, unexpected income. Yeah, I feel like somebody here wants to come over. Some of y'all could have Gemini in your chart. Uh, I see some of y'all may end up sleeping with somebody. It's like you have a fight with someone and they sleep They sleep with you to make it all better again. But at the same time, like you're the reason why we had the fight. So it's like, you know, I feel like there's a love-hate relationship here. Okay. You fight, you break, you make up, you have some sex, you make up again. You know, it is what it is. Hold on. Oh. Did, it, did it come out reversed? Um, give me one more card here for uh, Cancer. I see somebody spending on you. This could be somebody taking you out to eat as well. I see somebody spending on you like a lavish dinner, a lavish trip. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is treating you expensive, okay? Somebody here may put some money in your pocket or buy you a little something, something nice to compensate or make up for the lack of something. Okay, and we got Journey. Uh, it feels like uh, some of y'all could be taking a trip or traveling, um, but it feels like this is well-deserved. Like, it feels like you earned something. So if this is you making some money, you earned this money or you earned this income, okay? You deserve something coming in, Cancer. So that's what I got for y'all. Some of y'all, I'm getting Gemini. Someone may take you to the movie theaters, okay? So that's what I got for you, Cancer. I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it resonated, especially that money part, okay? And I will see y'all in your next reading. Bye, guys.